On the way to air, the airport, Alex and I are going to give you, hand you a free business plan for something new, cutting edge <clears throat> that I've been doing that works. I'm going to show you. It's called WFA, by the way. How to charge businesses. Uh, 5,000, I'll go low. I don't do it that low, but 5,000 to $150,000. Let me just put this in perspective one more time. Watch what we're about to share with you in this short presentation, okay? Because there's gonna be people out there who are gonna charge 150 grand, one business. That's all you'd have to, if your goal is just to make 150 grand a year, you could just have one client a year, one customer a year. That's how valuable this training is. So um, I need a better marker. This one's not my favorite. Let's pull up. Let me show you guys something. Can I use this? Will yeah. this? Okay. Ba -ba. Let's go to Safari. Let's just pull up a business. I'm going to pull from any random comment somebody wants to give here. What's a business, a restaurant, somewhere you've gone? By the way, you guys just missed. We gave away. We picked the winner of the cash and car. They had 30 seconds to decide one of our Instagram followers. We're doing it again next month, so if you didn't win today, don't have a heart attack. $10,000 cash or a car. Papa John's, McDonald's, no, a smaller business, not a huge corporation. I don't recommend you start with huge corporations. What's a restaurant you guys eat at that's a local restaurant? How about that? A local bar, a nightclub that you like, um, a clothing line that you shop with? Because I'm gonna actually give Tito's Tacos. I'm going to give you an example. Okay. I, did, I started doing this earlier this year, a funnel agency. You've heard me talk about social media marketing agencies. This is the next evolution, okay? So let me show you the difference. You have a WFA versus an SMMA. Say what WFA stands for, too. Website. One I'm building. Oh, you're building. I'm building. <laughs> Suspense. I actually, we actually own the trademark on SMMA. So SMMA, social media marketing agency. You do Facebook ads for people. You manage their Insta. You manage their Twitter. Right. That's what a social media marketing. It does YouTube. It drives traffic with ads. You can do. That's great. I've, we've trained over 40,000 people how to do that. There's a next evolution that's a, like a hyper Navy SEAL specialized thing that you can do it's called a WFA. So website, funnel, agency. If you already have an SMMA, social media marketing agency, you can add this as a second service. If you don't have anything, you can do this. Alone, so they, they're complementary, or they could be done separate. Let's pull up a business here. Uh, Ty's Tacos, Chore Relief, a property maintenance marketplace. Okay, let's just do this. I've never heard of it. ChoreRelief.com. I don't know if the person who commented this. Okay. Name your price. Find pros who do what you need. This seems to, is this your website, Tariq Rebeck? Let me look. I don't know if you're the owner, but here's the thing. This website right here, I'm not sure it has a funnel, but let's, let's look here. Let me, you can't always look at the homepage, but let me click it. What happens if I click download app? God, so. Takes you to Google Play. Gotcha. Handyman, clean service. Okay, here's the deal. This right here is basically a funnel. It might not be their only funnel, but your homepage is a funnel. If you could improve, come to this company, assuming they're doing well, assuming they're making money, you could charge them between $5,000 and $150,000 to fix their funnel. Or if they don't have one, they just have a homepage to build them one. What is a funnel? A funnel is a designated website page 
I call it a vacuum cleaner. It's a vacuum for money. So think about this. 100 people go to this website right here right now. I don't consider this that good of a funnel for a lot of reasons. I think this, for one big reason, is the font's too small on everything. So that alone, there's 25 cognitive biases of the human brain that people make decisions with. That alone, that's called the availability bias. It's not available to people's brains. People don't want to sit there and squint over their stuff. Secondly, I don't love the image. I'm never a fan of weird Cartoon. cartoons. I mean, just, if you're gonna do cartoons or something, you gotta do like Geico. Geico has like an animated gecko that's funny, but mm -hmm. this is not Geico. Okay, post your jobs and get multiple free estimates and easily, I don't know, it just reminds me of work and yeah, look at the font size here. I mean, on a laptop, by the way, this is a huge up. monitor. Very few people are walking around with a <laughs> monitor. That's the size it should be for your eyes. And it's like you would need to be having somebody carry a, lap, uh, a monitor around with you. <laughs> Saves you money. Okay, now they got a little video here. It's too short. It's 59 seconds. Let's see if it's any good. I mean, it's fine. I like the dancing mop thing. <laughs> Zach, will you recreate this sometime in our house? <laughs> okay, I'm not trying to make fun of anybody. I'm just saying I would not describe this as a money vacuum. People come to this page and it does the opposite. They bounce. They bounce off a page like this. Alex and I know we've spent over $500 million on Google and Facebook and YouTube ads. Trust me, we know what we're talking about. And this is just, also these testimonials are way too long. Daniel enjoys the convenience of managing all of his apartment needs through chore relief from train water, dry water, cleaning to mowing. Daniel sleeps easier at night knowing. It also doesn't sound like Daniel wrote yeah, that. Yeah, it sounds like, like you're <laughs> writing for Daniel. And it doesn't look like that's a real person. Yeah, that, that is, looks like a stock that photography. That is a stock photo. For Meet sure. Chloe. Always put the first and last name. Meet Chloe. Chloe loves the additional income that she gets by owning rental properties, but I feel like sometimes the headaches and comes. Yeah, it's just okay. No need to harp on this. As seen on the news, okay. It's not news channels I've ever heard of, but I guess it's a local Chicago one. This is better. You have some actual video. I would put this video. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna give you free. I could charge you 150 grand. People pay me 150,000 to fix their funnel. I could charge you that, or I'm just gonna give it to you for free. And those of you watching who are gonna start a website funnel agency, this is what you have to do to get people to pay you money. Not that much. You have to know more than them, but you don't have to know that much. This video right here should be spliced up into a sizzle reel. Everything on demand seems to be a way of life these days. It See, this is great. Although it's a little slow to jump into it, but let's see. But this one has to to the provider. It's called Chore Relief. Right there. I would Chicago. start right yeah. there. And you need to put this, by the way, needs to go up on your main page. By the yeah. way, this should open in a new tab. Don't open things in the same tab. Um, but that's what should be here. It's just 100%. that if I go to a landing page, first thing I see, one of the 25 cognitive biases is authority bias. Mm -hmm. If I see people still subconsciously perceive the news as high authority, even though I don't know if anybody watches the news anymore. I mean, not like they used to in the 60s and 70s, but if you have that right there and then you jump into what you do, that's going to double, triple, quadruple your conversions. So you're going to cut out. A lot of this stuff needs to be removed. The funnel also, I don't know that I would make my, I mean, I guess download app is the, I don't understand why you have two buttons side by side. Oh, one's Apple, one's Android. <laughs> you yeah. don't do it that yeah, way. No, I don't know at all. A Alex built an app that was downloaded how many times, roughly? Um, 15, 16 million. 15, yeah. 16 million. So yeah. he's he's had a few downloads on his, biz in his company and, uh, 
Did you have two buttons like that no, spread out? Never. So it's a good attempt, but if you, this opportunity right here, every single website you review is a business opportunity for you, really. And you minimum, I, I say 5,000, I would never do it for less than 10,000. So just do the math. If you get one customer a quarter, that's $40,000 a year, low ball, if you're charging 10 grand. Mm -hmm. if, you're at, if you're charging a little more, 25 grand, four customers is 100 grand. 10 customers is a lot of money. I, I, you can do the math. If, even if you get, you know, like I like to, I generally charge 150 grand, but I have more experience. But we're rolling out the, web, uh, the website funnel agency program. Alex is gonna do a little more training here because I gotta go, we're catching up. We gotta catch a jet. We're going to look at a business deal in a faraway land. Not that far away, but kind of far away. That has hours? no commercial airline, airport near it. So um, we gotta be there at what, seven? You said my? 6.30. What time we is it now? It's right now 6.12. Okay. Yeah, we gotta leave in 15 minutes. So by the way, you can do this from anywhere in the world. That's a cool thing. You can sell into the US if you live in India, if you live in South Africa, if you live in Argentina, all around the world, if you live in a small town, big town. So just like the social media marketing agency, this is a big opportunity, building your own WFA. We've got a four month training program. We're gonna give you as much as we can give you free. And the link, we're gonna put a link. We started the test group yesterday, just like social media marketing agency, tw October 2016. I told people, get in my SMMA. First people to get in, get the first mover advantage. And the people that got in first, probably like, I don't know, five, 6,000 people got in in the first quarter, they had the first mover advantage. You know how many social media marketing agencies there are now? In fact, I, on the way back, I stopped to get a water and a, two guys saw me in the store and came out and they're like, this is literally what the guy said. I should have filmed it. He goes, I started a social media marketing agency. I, he didn't say the year, a couple years ago. And he's like, man, I should have gone big back then because nobody was doing it. And he's like, now all my clients are getting other agencies contacting them. Nobody's going to be contacting doctors' offices, dentists, landscapers, realtors, businesses like this with a WFA. You'll be the first one. So jump. We're going to put a. I'm going to put a link. It's in the live stream below. You should see the link. Or if you don't see it, what? Pull it up. What is it? It's tylopez.com slash. What is it? Funnel Live. So you just type in Funnel Live. We have this open for, well, yesterday was the first day, so there's less than a week left for you to jump into this. I'm telling you, I told people in 2016, a lot of cynics. I had more cynics in 2016. People listen to me more now. Back then, I'd only been doing social media for a couple of years, so people were like, who is this guy? Now, you know, now I trademarked SMMA. That's how many people did SMMA. It's, it's a freak, I, I wouldn't say I created an industry, but I kind of did, not to sound cocky. There were some people teaching social media marketing before, but not, not at the volume that we did and the scale of over 90 countries. We're talking tens, of, more people went through that than have gone through UCLA down the corner. And legitimately, a lot of people made money and are continuing to make money all every single day. This is the next thing. You can do this for, I see somebody talking about chiropractors. You could do this for a real estate agent, maybe on a real estate agent, they're not gonna pay you 150 grand, but we're gonna train you over the next four months. So even if you know how, don't know how to do it, where to find the clients, who the ideal clients are, how to do it, how to actually fulfill the work yourself, how to outsource the work to other people if you don't know how to do it, how to build the funnels, how to understand the psychology. Remember, this is not social media. You could have an SMMA and a WFA. Mm -hmm. WFA is how to make very, very persuasive web pages on people's site. It's all about persuasion. You know, some people know how to do it and other people don't. And if you learn how to do it, by the way, you can apply this to your own business if you're an entrepreneur, as well as sell it as a service. Services are the best way to start if you don't have any money. If you don't have much money, the best business to start in is a service business. Both Alex and I, early in our entrepreneur career started services. I had a consulting agency. He had a little IT company. Yep. It's because it doesn't take much cash. You're selling your services for money. You're trading your time for money. So, um, okay, Alex, I want you to kind of, well, I'm going to go. We've okay. got the link. 
Should we talk um, about the diagram, structure? Show a diagram of a highly compelling okay. case. Me and Alex, online using funnels, have generated over one billion in sales for our businesses. So, okay. you're not learning. By the way, I posted a video. This girl I know in New York's getting a college degree. I, I, I didn't know what it was, and I asked her the other day, "What are you getting your degree in?" She goes, "Oh, digital marketing." I said, "Oh, really? Digital marketing? Hmm, how ironic, because we were like talking about." The, what I do, and, and then I said, how much, how much is it? She goes, oh, it's 30 grand. I said, how long is it? Four years. I go, okay, so it's $30,000 in four years of your life? She goes, no, it's 30 grand a year. I think it's Pace College or something. And I'm going, I was in the gym. I shot a video, I was like, I gotta shoot a video yeah. right now. I said, Alex and I, no offense to college professors, because I love Dr. David Buss, I love different professors, I learn from them, but I don't learn how to make money from them. I said, I said to her, I said, you have been finessed. <laughs> You've been finessed. You literally spent 120 grand. Me and Alex have spent more on online marketing than the entire population of professors in the United States teaching digital marketing combined. That's we right. might have spent that much today more than they have. Why would you learn digital marketing from professors? This has to be, there's been dumb things, is getting dumber and dumber. And digital marketing from professors. Okay, history, you wanna learn from a professor. Egyptian art, yes. Uh, <laughs> engineering, yes. Medical doctor, yeah, you have to, by law, get a college degree. Do you wanna learn, like, do you think LeBron James is like, you know what I went to college for? A four-year degree in basketball from my fat professor who had never played basketball, but he pulled out a textbook and taught me. Michael Jordan got a geography degree at UNC, and he did pretty well. He learned basketball from either coaches who had been in the game for a long time, like Dean Smith, or from other players that he emulated. Kobe Bryant copied other players like Michael Jordan. So you learn from people who are doing um, so if you think our training program is too expensive, fine. Go to Pace College. I'm their <laughs> biggest fan. Wait, my students, our students are going to smoke you, and um, they'll also have an extra $120,000 to spend on marketing their WFA. If you spend $120,000 on, on marketing your WFA, you only need one customer <laughs> to make it profitable. One. So I hope... You guys, grab what we're saying, grab the course. Um, we've already had people pouring into it. We just sent an email. When did we send that email, Ben? Yesterday? The day before? Um, yeah. What did I miss, Alex, before I go? Sounds good. Should I talk about? So Alex talk about is going to give you a sneak peek on some of the Oh, let me read the names of some people getting in. Kabir in Riverside, New Jersey. Bridges Valdez in Santa Domingo, Dominican Republic. Okay, Nico in Nashville, Tennessee. Magnus Ingotti in Sweden. You can always tell someone from Sweden, their name's Magnus. Magnus. There's a Jeff. Or Norwegian. Jameson Sanders. That's a good name. Zach, you should change your screen name to Jameson Sanders. In South Jordan, Utah, Stella. In Brooklyn, Alexander Azaroff in Dublin, Ireland. Cameron Roberts in Strathfield, Australia, New South Wales. Grazia in Peccioli, Toscana, Italy. That's another name, Zach, for you. Grazia. Grazia Cookman. <laughs> Although that was a horrible Italian accent I just did. I think I sounded like... Oh, in Spanish? <laughs> no, I sounded like a Romanian Dracula. Okay. <laughs> All right. Someone said, who is the fat head on the left? I'm on, the, wait, am I on the left or you? <laughs> is it my head? Is it fat? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite. It's a guy from India. Is that a, is that a compliment or a... First of all, we have to determine who's left, who's right. No, but I'm just, it's probably you because he knows who I am, so. <laughs> but I just like, is that a compliment in India or is that some type of disparaging you comment? You're a he fat head. A fat in America, <laughs> like, if you are a rapper and you called someone a fat head, they might be like, that's pretty good. I'm a it's, fat head. It actually can be a rapper name, right? <laughs> DJ, fat head. DJ Dr. fat head. Dr. Fat Head. He's a PhD. <laughs> All right, take it away. All right, guys. 
<laughs> What's up? So I want to talk about six things that you want to uh, put on your landing page to increase it, its conversion. Remember the number one job of a landing page? So landing page is the first step of a funnel, right? So when you capture traffic, somehow generate traffic, let's say through social media marketing, What's the goal? Why did you create the visit? You want to convert that person into a paying customer or lead, right? So I wanna talk about six things that you're gonna put, have to have on your landing page for that conversion to happen, all right? And if you have any questions, just put it in comments and I'll answer. But I have only three minutes, five minutes. All right, so I gotta go through six items. So I'm gonna, you know, it's one minute each. All right, starting with the hook, and I'll explain each one of them, okay? Two, benefit stack. Three, feature stack. Four, objection removal. Five, social proof slash authority. Six, call to action. All right? So there's a lot more that goes into making a funnel work, but these six, you have to have all six of them, basically, to, for it to work, all right? So let's start, and I have four minutes, so I'm gonna go through them really quickly. Hook is basically what you put at the top, top. It's a reason, it's not who you are, what do you do, it's not an explanation of your services or whatever. It is basically the reason that people have to stick around, right? So why should someone who just visited your page stick around? Normally what I do is, I'll come back to this page in a second, if this is the website, I put a hook right here. So what Ty said, how to charge businesses $5,000 to $150,000, you know, that's the hook here. It actually doesn't explain exactly how to accomplish it. That's the mechanics of it. It's not as important. What it does is that it gives you a reason to stick around. It tells you what is the benefit to you so that you stick around and learn more, all right? So I normally put the hook here, all right? The next thing that I put on a landing page is what I call benefit stack. And I'm gonna clarify this in parentheses. It has to be benefit to you. In copywriting, one of the words that actually increases conversion is the word you. It is about what's the benefit to you, exactly how it's gonna make you win, how it's gonna make the customer feel, how does it, whatever is a benefit. It is look at it from the perspective of a customer and then list out all the reasons that someone should take, uh, should use your product. It's not about what the product does. Again, we are not in the mechanics level yet. The mechanism is not being explained. It's like, these are all the benefits to you and it's a stack of them, right? So, you know, it could be, you know, if you're buying a car, it is like prestige, uh, mile per gallon, fuel efficiency, comfort, safety, you know, all the things that are special about the car and it's a direct benefit to the customer. You're not talking about the features, the specs of the car, yet you're talking about what is in it for the person who buys it. So I call that benefit stack, all right? Stack because it's multiple of them. Normally you can, you can enumerate them. If it's a video, you can just spread it throughout the video. If it's copy, it's bullet points, all right? Let me see if I have any, anybody has questions. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I have three more minutes to go, four more items. The huh? The link. The link is tylopez.com slash funnel live. tylopez.com slash funnel live. Is it also in the comments? Is it a pinned yeah, comment? So Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. There's a link and it is pinned. So you should be able to go there, all right? Next one is what a lot of entrepreneurs actually lead with and it's feature stack. Feature stack is the mechanics, the, me the mechanism that the product actually satisfies, fulfills the hook, 
or the main benefit fulfills the benefit stack. It's very important not to start with this. You get, you lose people, right? So had I started the conversation, this live video with this, right? Instead of Ty talking about, you know, the benefit to you, nobody would have listened to you, uh, to, to this conversation. But we started with a hook, a very, a, a, basically a promise that the main benefit to the customer and then we kept building on it and now we are telling you how to accomplish it. So this is basically what I'm doing here is actually kind of feature stack, right? This is like this, if you're selling a car, now you talk about the specs, all right? This is not the first thing I talk about, all right? So that's the main camera, yeah. right? Okay, just looking at comments. Now, fourth one. Uh, objection removal, this is very important. This is what happens in sales, in phone sales, right? So you wanna remove objections. You wanna be able to overcome objections. Now, in, when you're doing phone sales, um, you can listen to the customer and then hear their objection and overcome it. So that's a common technique. But on a website, on a funnel, you're not able to do it because nobody, you're not conversing with the customer. So one way to do this and the way that I recommend a lot of businesses do it is actually by doing a frequently asked questions. So you have a section and you put yourself in the shoes of all potential customers and think what are the things that they might be afraid of, all the potential objections they have, right? So if, if they think the price is, is might, you might think that they think the price is high, trivialize the price, compare it to the benefit and say, well, compared to what you get, it is beneficial. Or a lot of websites, they have, you know, price match guarantee for that exact reason. They're overcoming an objection. Another objection, common objection is, what if I buy it and, you know, you're buying a, you know, item of, I don't know, a pair of pants. They're like, it doesn't fit me. That's another objection. So in your frequently asked questions, you say within 30 days, ship it back to us, we will refund your money. Another objection could be, you know, is this product durable? And you say, you know, blah, 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 whatever it is about your product. Actually, one way to think of all the things that, can, that people can think, all the objections that customers might have, is to go to Amazon uh, review of a similar product, if your product is not on Amazon, and see all the things that people say, all right? All the things they complain about. Every single one of those can be a point of objection. So what you do is that you list them, in a frequent, that's how I normally do it. I put them in a frequently asked questions. I just think about yourself, right? You go to a website, everybody has a different objection. And a lot of times if there's a clean frequently asked question right on the website, uh, a section that you don't have to cover everything, but the main objections. And a lot of times it's like, aha, that, that was my problem. And they know what I'm talking about and they, they're on top of it. So objection removal, two more minutes to go. Social proof authority, if you guys haven't heard of it, social proof is basically testimonials uh, by customers. It actually, it's just, it's just a cognitive bias that's very strong. Um, and authority is basically incre increasing the authority of the page. You can increase the authority of a page by associating with brand names. Like the example that Ty showed earlier, by showing that the product is on a TV channel, it automatically increase its authority. Basically, people think, okay, this product is not a scam. It actually works. So authority, increase authority, and social proof. Social proof comes through testimonials. Authority is association with other brands. And six, call to action. This is very important. One thing I tell people is that definitely have one call to action. Try not to have multiple. Uh, some people just forget to put CTA. That's obviously a massive mistake, but definitely put a CTA. And then put a CTA that if you can, in your CTA, actually offer something. Uh, you might have seen these websites that offer you know, a free consultation. They offer a free ebook. It's actually a very powerful one. Always, even though you are offering people a product, you on top of that, you want to give them something else in return for them taking the next step. Uh, I was actually looking at Fashion Nova website yesterday and they have this pop-up and they give you uh, a discount, a 25%, I can't remember the percentage, uh, coupon if you enter your email. It's obviously a way for them to collect emails, but they don't just ask for the email. You know, they give you something in return for it and that has a huge impact on the conversion. All right, I covered this six. Now, there's a lot more that goes into building a website in terms of the structure, presentation of the material. How do you test it? How do you go from page one to page two? 
how do you uh, pro uh, price your product before that event, you have to construct the right product portfolio, construct the product portfolio, price them correctly, and stack them, order them correctly, starting with a core product and then all the way to upsells and other things that you bundle with your product. I don't have time to go through all of it, which is why we created this text, this, this course for you guys to go through a lot of things that actually makes you uh, build money-making machines, all right? So uh, somebody said, I need step three. So yeah, you need feature stack, okay? Um, feels like people are already identifying. Um, all right. Uh, let me see if there are any questions. Uh, yes, people love freebies. Yes, they do. All right. Um, let me see. Hopefully this was useful. Gym tan laundry. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Some of these questions. Nice, nice tips on marketing. All right. What's most important uh, in life? I don't know. That's a philosophical question. All right. Somebody's about to go sell funnels, so pay for this. Great. <laughs> All right. So if there are, there are, I see a bunch of questions. I'm going to take two more questions. How many more minutes do I have? Like two right, minutes? Zero. zero? All right, I'm already over time. <laughs> do you see, guys, a good question? Um, nope. It goes quickly. Could this be used for SMMA landing page? 100%. As a matter of fact, if you have an SMMA agency, you have to do this. You have to build a funnel for yourself to get the clients. And it's kind of improves your own business. In addition, also, if you have an SMMA agency, uh, social media marketing agency, this will be an additional product you can add uh, to your portfolio. All right? How does one sign up for your program? Uh, Tylerface.com slash uh, funnel live. All right? Sounds good. All right. I think we're good. All right. Thank you, guys. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Have a good day.